This is part 91 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery button widget. jQuery button widget enhances standard form elements like buttons, input elements, and anchors to buttons. Let's look at an example. On this page right here, we've got three elements, an input element of type button, a submit button, and an anchor element. If we view this HTML in the browser, by default, those three elements will be rendered like this. Let's see how to enhance them as buttons using the jQuery button widget. For that, we first need to find these three elements. So within our jQuery ready function, let's use a selector. We want to find input elements of type equals button. We also want to find input elements of type equals submit and anchor elements. On this selector, I'm going to call button jQuery UI function. Let's save our changes, reload this page, and notice all those three elements are now enhanced as buttons. We can also associate icons with these buttons. To associate icons, use the icons option of the button widget. A button can have a primary icon and a secondary icon. A primary icon is displayed on the left by default, and the secondary icon is displayed on the right. For the list of all icons that are available, please visit this URL right here. So on this page, you can see all the icons. Now let's go ahead and associate this icon as the primary icon. So back in Visual Studio, just like any other jQuery UI widget, even with button widget, we can specify options. So I'm going to specify icons option, and the value is going to be a JavaScript object. We want to associate a primary icon and this is going to be our primary icon. We also want a secondary icon, and secondary icon is going to be this image right here. So let's copy the name and paste it right there. So let's save our changes, reload our web form, and notice we have a primary icon and a secondary icon on this anchor element. But these two buttons, this element is of uh, type button and this is a submit button. So notice both these buttons doesn't have icons. Why is that? That's basically because icons are not supported with input elements of type button, submit, or reset. We can also use this jQuery button widget to enhance checkboxes to buttons. Let's look at an example of that. So I have the HTML to produce some checkboxes already typed. So let's copy and paste it right here. So here we've got three checkboxes, bold, underline, italic. So now if we view this HTML in the browser, by default, checkboxes will be rendered like this. Now we want to enhance them to buttons. So we want to find all input elements of type equals checkbox. And on that selector, I'm going to call this button jQuery function. Let's get rid of this options object. Let's save our changes, reload this page. Notice now those checkboxes are enhanced as buttons. Though they are enhanced as buttons, their behavior is still like checkboxes. So when I click a button for the first time, so that is checked, look at that, it has got a different color and border. If I click on it again, it is unchecked now, okay? So what we want to do is, whenever we click on any of these checkboxes, if it is checked, then we want to display a message saying, for example, here underline uh, checkbox is checked. So we want to display a message saying underline checkbox checked. If I click on that again, it's unchecked. So underline checkbox is unchecked. So let's see how to achieve that. To achieve that, we need to associate a click event handler. So on all this, I'm going to associate a click event handler. So first we need to determine whether if that checkbox is checked or not. So I'm going to create a variable. Let's call that is checked. And to do that, I'm going to use this keyword here. So this is going to refer uh, the element that on which we have currently clicked. So this dot, I'm going to use the is function and I'm going to use checked selector. So this function is going to return true if the checkbox is checked, otherwise false. If it returns true, then in this variable, we want to store this string checked. 
if it is unchecked then we want to store this string okay so this variable will contain either checked or unchecked string now we want to alert a message so let's use the JavaScript alert function and dollar this so we want to determine which button the user has clicked so if you look at these checkboxes look at the IDs for the bold checkbox it is bold for underline it's underline and for italic it is italic right so let's retrieve the ID attribute value so that's going to tell us which checkbox is uh, clicked so I'm going to use the ATTR function get the ID attribute value and to that I'm going to append this message so bold button or it's a checkbox underneath so I'm going to say bold checkbox is whether if it is uh, checked or unchecked and that is present in this variable so I'm going to use that variable here is checked so let's save our changes reload this page and look at this when I click the button look at that bold checkbox is checked if I click it again bold checkbox is unchecked similarly if we click on underline underline checkbox is checked and underline checkbox is unchecked we can also use this jQuery button widget to enhance radio buttons to buttons again I have already typed the required HTML to produce two radio buttons so I'm going to copy those two and paste it right here so we have got two radio buttons male and female let's save those changes and by default the radio buttons will be rendered like this Now let's enhance them as buttons so we want to find all input elements of type radio and on that we are calling the button jQuery function and we still want to associate a click event handler but you know as far as radio button is concerned you can only check it you can't uncheck it and these radio buttons are going to be mutually exclusive because we have set the same name right so you can either select male or female radio button similarly you can either select only male or female buttons on the UI okay so whenever we check uh, we select the male radio button we want to display male radio button selected okay so for that we don't need this variable so I'm going to get rid of that so dollar this ATTR ID that's going to give us which radio button it is and we'll simply display this message is selected okay and let's get rid of this variable alright so let's save our changes let's reload this page first of all notice they are now rendered as buttons when I click on mail it is male is selected look at that at the moment male is selected now when I select female look at that female is selected but male is uh, unselected and here it says female selected because those are radio buttons so they will be mutually exclusive now we have another function called button set so we can use this button set widget to enhance a group of radio buttons or checkboxes to buttons so here if you look at what we have we have two radio buttons right so I'm going to put them inside a div element so div ID let's give it an ID let's call it radio buttons so now these radio buttons are present inside a div element now what I can do is since this development has got an ID I can use a jQuery ID selector so let's copy the ID so find the div element and on that I'm going to call button set widget okay so what is this going to do it's going to render all the radio buttons inside the dev development as buttons okay so let's comment the rest of the code that we have here save the changes reload this page notice now okay for some reason they are not rendered as buttons let's see why is that so we have radio buttons uh, we are finding the development and on that okay that's because we have an error here we didn't comment this line so let's comment that as well reload this notice they are now rendered as radio uh, buttons right so you can either select male or female if you select you know 
one, it will automatically unselect the other if it's already selected. Okay, so now associating click event handler here is a bit tricky. You can't really add a click event handler on top of this button set function. You can do it, but it's not going to work as expected. So what I'm going to do is to associate click event handler. I am actually going to use another selector. So find all input elements of type equals radio and then let's uncomment these lines here and then I'm going to associate click even handler to those elements okay so let's save our changes reload this page and look at this when male is clicked male is selected similarly when we select female it says female is selected Thank you for listening. Have a great day.